If you're on a Mac and you find yourself needing a little bit more space for samples or additional content like your logic loops or something like that, or you just need a faster drive than the one that's in your computer, a good trick can be to use the symbolic link. And what that basically is, is a more advanced kind of alias folder. More or less, what it's doing is it's telling your computer that there is a folder here, this is the folder, however, the folder is actually a link to a different folder on an external hard drive or just another location. This is how I keep my Spitfire audio samples or my Apple loops or a number of other similar sorts of files that I just want to kind of take off the computer to free up space or that there just isn't space for. I had a laptop that had a tiny hard drive and I used it to take all the content off and not overload the hard drive. I had another one that had a really slow hard drive and I used it to put samples onto a faster hard drive that would run them a little bit more easily. It's a really useful trick. It's a pretty quick one, so we're gonna go over it real fast. Now, before anything, I'm just gonna tell you right now, back up whatever you're trying to do. You shouldn't need to with this, but it's always good practice, even if you don't really have to. Never take the chance on it. Backing up everything is really good practice. The other thing I wanna make note of is that this is not going to work with every single file or folder. I tried this with my plugins a couple times and I, to this day, I cannot seem to have any luck with actually using this trick for plugins. Um, it, every time I do it, Logic just kind of looks at it and says, there's no plugins here. So another reason to back it up is just to make sure that you're not losing whatever you're trying to put on that external hard drive, which you shouldn't, but it's good practice anyway. Now I have everything I intend to move over already moved, so I'm going to be using a file that I don't actually intend on moving. The audio music apps folder in my music folder, it contains all your patches and presets and stuff for Logic as well as like the EXS or Logic sampler instruments. If you're looking at the files right now, you probably see one that says like audio music app or whatever. That's, that is the folder I've renamed it because you don't want to have the two folders with the same name. It's just going to confuse everything anyway. But because I'm not actually moving that over, I just renamed it and I'm going to name it back when I'm done with this. But that can also be something you do if you're not entirely certain. You can just rename it to something and then change the name back if it's not working for you. That way you don't have to transfer and then retransfer if it's not working. So first things first is you're gonna to wanna to copy that folder over to your external hard drive. So I have my audio music apps and all of its content over here on the external drive. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you've done that is you want to open up your terminal. And in your terminal, you are going to type in sudo space s, or sorry, space dash s or minus s. Enter, it's gonna want your password. Once you've put that in, you're just going to want to type in ln space minus s space. And that extra space is so you can get into the folders that you're gonna drag and drop here. You're gonna take the folder that's on your external drive. You're gonna drag and drop that in and it's going to give you the path for that folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to drag and drop the folder that you want the alias in. In this case, it's going to be my music folder in my directory. Once you've dragged that in, you're going to hit backspace to take that space out. You're going to put in your forward slash and that is important. The direction of the slash is going to matter in a sec as well here. And you're going to type in the name of the folder that you have on the external drive. And the reason the slash matters is because you're also going to want to put the opposite slash here if there's any spaces in the name, which there is in this case. No slash at the end, you're just gonna hit enter. Now you'll see in my music folder, I have this 
little alias folder, this little arrow here, that's going to indicate that it is a symbolic link. And if I click on it and go into it, if you look at the directory at the bottom, you'll see that it has taken me to the external hard drive. And that should now read as if it's that folder. Again, unless for some reason the software or whatever you're using just doesn't like that and doesn't recognize it. We're gonna open up Logic. We're gonna go for a software instrument real fast. Now that we've got a software instrument, I'm going to go through to the user patches and let's pull out that GGD invasion breakout that we did in the previous video with the uh, how to set up a multi-out instrument. Now I don't have the audio piped in, so you're not gonna be able to hear that, but it is working. More importantly, the patch is there and the patch is working. The patch is one of those files that's in that folder I just moved. So it is now pulling that patch off that external hard drive to load that up when I tell it to. I hope that was easy for you. It's a real quick kind of video. If you have any questions, unfortunately, this is not something I'm enough of an expert on that I can really answer them more easily. I would look into the Apple symbolic links a little bit more in depth. The best I can offer for quick troubleshooting ideas with my limited knowledge would just be check the format of the external drive you're using. Or again, it might just be a case that the folder you're trying to move isn't going to work. But your Apple loops, your sound library, stuff like the music apps that I just moved that folder, that stuff should be just fine. But if you do have any trouble, it unfortunately, I don't have enough knowledge to provide any troubleshooting past that point. So just look into the symbolic link, look up a YouTube video, try to find it on Google. Somebody out there in the Apple community should be able to help you. Possibly somebody in the Logic community. I know I'm not the only person who's done this. You might be able to find someone who can give you some good tips. And if it was helpful, just give the video a little, uh, little like, recommend it to your friends, maybe throw down a comment, just anything to help us out. I appreciate it.